All right, people, today we're going to be making the delicious goodness called the Big Reactors. As, as you can see, we've done the stuff and things. Um, I did spend a heck ton of time off camera collecting all this gelled cryothium, so the video's not going to be nearly as long as they normally are. It's going to be a pretty quick one getting into this Big Reactor stuff. But as you can see here, we're making about 50,000 RF per tick, and soon we're going to have to upgrade our um, power cells here to b do 30,000 RF per tick, even though it's not going to be a lot. We might have to have two power taps uh, for different things. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the video and let it comment. All right, guys. So today we're going to go ahead and be making our big reactor. I believe that's what the mod is called. It sure is. Okay, so we got a heck ton of Eulorium. So we're going to make a decent sized generator and we're going to shove it right into there. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to need a heck ton of these reactor casings. Whoops, missed that. Where did it go? There's reactor casing. Sorry about the background noise, guys. Somebody's doing something in their backyard. And it sounds like an angle grinder. Um, so let me go ahead. I did not... I forgot about putting the coal in beforehand. So please bear with me on this. Uh, I just remembered now. And so we can do it really quickly by using this furnace here. Holy cow! I love how fast this ultimate furnace is. All right. And we're good. Okay, perfect. Now, if you do like take some of them out when it's going that fast, you will end up losing two or three ingots. And I would prefer not to do that. So we're gonna go hit here. We're gonna make these a heck ton of these guys. Okay, there's all of that. Oh, we need more graphite. Dang it. Okay, I'm going to be here for a bit making up some graphite. I'll be right back, guys. I think it's funny that I typed in Big Reactors, which was another name for them, and the Extreme Reactors came out, but I don't care. Okay, so let's go ahead here. We're going to grab our wand. No, 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 no. Where'd the wand go? <laughs> Where did my wand go? Where did the wand go? Where did the wand go? Okay, so we're basically just going to cover uh, all the backsides with... Uh, this stone casing here, and ooh, cool beans. So we can go ahead and chisel all this out and use this as it. Oh boy. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to knock all this stuff out and I'll be right back. Okay, so we should be able to just vein mine this. Kind of. Oh, our pickaxe broke fun and ta-da <gasps> no okay so we've got this little base thing set up so let's go on up oh my gosh that takes a lot more than I had originally thought let's go make some more I guess <laughs> Jeez, Louise this is expensive okay I don't know if that is enough but it'll hello computer you are very loud Thank you for telling me my file drive history is too long. Okay. So I don't think it'll fill in the roof here. Actually, we don't want to fill in the roof. Okay, we're going to punch a little hole for ourselves later on. Like so. Okay. Okay, so that's where we'll, we'll like, that's like the maintenance hatch that won't be there after we put it in. Trust me, it, it'll work out. Okay, so we're gonna grab some of these reactor casings, and then we're gonna need a power tap, which is, we just need one. Okay, and then we're gonna need a reactor controller. Yep, ta-da. And then we're gonna need a redstone port. No, we don't need that. We might do a turbine in the future, but I don't think we're gonna do it right now. Okay, access ports, we're gonna need two of these. Whoops, what do you need? Oh, you need a piston. Okay, we got two of them. And that's so you can do it with a computer. And we need a bunch of these. <gasps> oh no. Fuel rods. Okay, I got no idea how many of those we'll need, so I just made a bunch. Okay, 17 of those. Probably won't need that many. Okay, so this should be everything we need for now. Or actually, oh, hold up. Oh, <gasps> yay, we got a quest. Oh, three? <gasps> oh, my goodness. OK, 
Okay, we're going to need to make some more. I don't know how much reactor glass I'm going to need. And... <gasps> we're out of graphite? What? Jeez Louise, we go through this stuff flipping fast. Though I, I did make way too much glass, if I'm being honest. And way too many fuel rods. But who cares? Actually, we do. We really care about making too many fuel rods because now we're in a pickle. Okay. So we're good now. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Let's go back over to this bad boy. Do, 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 do. Hello, cow. Now, this thing should produce some pretty good power. And that's where the face is going to be. Yes, indeed. Okay, so I've heard that if you, I guess, make these together, they have more radio, radiation or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. You know who probably knows? Nerogath, because that dude is a genius. Okay. And, yep, that needs to be the last one. Yep, okay. That's where all the fuel rod caps are going to go. Right there. Okay. Oh, we're three short. Should have made more of those in the list of the fuel rods. But you never know. We might end up upgrading in the future to more a bigger one. Bigger and badder one. Okay, so more of you. And then we're going to take... One, two, three more of you. Oh, that is it. That is it. Lemony Snicket. Where did the glass go? I put the glass back and I didn't even use it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead like this. And we're going to do a full border. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like that. Okay, there's that, and then we'll come over here to the three over here. Ta-da! It's done! Just kidding, I don't think it's actually done yet. We still gotta fill it with some liquid. Some lol squid. Okay. Alright, um, hmm. Don't we have you? Aren't you Jello Cryothium? <gasps> you are! Okay, you're gonna be our best friend today. Let's go ahead and get a bucket. Look at that, Jello Cryothium. Now, how much of this can you actually produce before you run out? Didn't you have a, a cooldown, if I'm not mistaken? Three minute cooldown, that's it. Okay, we're gonna make you a pen. And we're gonna milk ya. <laughs> um I was not is there there's no like machine to milk milker. Steve's carts. Okay. Um let's do you have any fences? Okay, we don't have any fence. No fence. Mr. Cow will be there. It has been decided. It has been decided. Okay, and then we're gonna need you. You better, actually, you know what? Before we test it on him, we're gonna test it on the mixed fuels guy. Okay, so it does reset him, which isn't too bad. All right. Oh, it actually didn't, cool beans. So we're just going to go ahead here and we're going to be filling this bad boy up and then we'll wait a bit and get some more gelled cryothium and then fill it up. So that'll go there. What just happened? All 
okay. <laughs> Why didn't it just stay there? Wait, does Jod Cryothium have to... <gasps> no. What happens if you hop in here? You do take damage. So what you mean to tell me that that just falls? Why, why are you like this? So what happens? Oh my. So we're gonna have to make a milking machine for this guy. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna go AFK for like 17 hours or something. <laughs> All right, so we have the reactor filled with jello cryothium that I went AFK for about three or four hours. And we still have five buckets left. There was 111 when I came back from being AFK. Uh, so let's go ahead and make up some ender chests here. We're gonna need some more blaze rods again. Gosh, this is annoying. Oh, look at that. I've got blaze rods, perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make, what else did we need? We needed, really, chests? That's weird. One, whoops. And two, okay. So let's go ahead, we need to grab some dye. Um, so we're gonna grab, let's see. Um, let's grab some yellow flowers and make it triple yellow. Uh, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Got four, five, six. All right, we'll get into Batania on a later episode. I do want to go ahead and finish out that mod. I don't like leaving it uh, not finished, if that makes any sense. How do we get 13? I miscounted. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and... Yep, okay. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna we're blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we're gonna need some conduit. Oh boy, can't talk. Okay, so we'll grab some of that. We'll grab an exporter. We don't have that auto crafted. I make so many of these. Probably make it auto crafted by now. And we have any speed upgrades going for us? We do. One, two, three, four. Okay. So let's come on back here. And da, 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 da. we can put you here. Put you like that. Perfect. All right, so let's grab some Yellorium. Put you here like so. And then you guys. Ta-da. Looking good. All right, and then our goal. So we're going to need to get the blue. We're, I think it's cyanite that comes out of it or plutonium. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But we need to get it up and running. We're just gonna grab a drawer here and some uh, upgrade. Some upgrades. One, two, three, four, five. I think it only takes five. Or okay. We'll find out. We will find out and we also want, hold up. Okay, 15 speed upgrades. Then we come over here. Let's head on back in. So check it out, check this out. It's really cool. Boom, this is our access point. Blah. Access point, this is where we'll put our power tap. So the chest goes here, the drawer goes here. Let's get the output set up first. This is for insert only. This is to extract, not to insert, perfect. And then we'll put the upgrades on. Okay, so you can put two more in. Jeez Louise, that's cool. All right, and then this is to insert only. This is to extract. As quick as you can, mate. Okay, and let's have a look. Yep, see it's starting to be filled up, which is awesome. Now let's go get a power cell. And we're doing all of this because I went ahead and attempted to record the Draconic Evolution video, but we don't have enough power to pretty much do anything. Which really sucks. So we're going to fix that today. Okay, and what do we need for you? Do I have anything that can do that? No, I don't have any dimensional shards. 
What are we missing? Wait, what are we missing for that? Oh, the prismarine. Okay, so check this out. Check it out. Check it out. G. Let's go like this. Come on over to here. Yep, we still got plenty of power. Like this. Zap, bada bing, bada boom. Zap, waps. Okay. And now we should be able to make a few. Oop, not that. Boom. Check that out. Eight. Okay, so we should be okay with this. I believe this goes up to 30. Okay, so it holds a heck ton more power and does some other things. But we're just going to put it there. Call it potatoes. Call it potatoes. All right, so the power tap here. Set this to in on all sides and link it. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and turn it on. How much? Dang, check out that power, guys. <laughs> 47,000 RF per tick? That wasn't bad at all. All right, and I want to... We need to go ahead and get power to these bad boys again. Uh, I did make a new card. Like this. We're going to have to make one. Dang, that is pumping some power. And uh, the, the magmatic generators are just going to be our emergency backup power. So that's how we'll see them. Five thousand RF per tick. That's it. It's gonna take forever. <laughs> We're gonna need to do something about that. But heck, holy heck, guys, this thing is cranking away. Look at that. Fifty thousand RF per tick. We're doing phenomenal compared to what we were doing before. And I think the gel cryothium is letting us um, do this so much better because it's uh, it keeps it nice and cool. Yeah, and when we do a turbine, it'll be great. So let's see, how much of this have we made? One ingot so far, two. Okay, so we are probably making this faster than we're getting it because we do have some seeds here. And in the future, guys, I do plan on making a farm down here for all of the Eulorium seeds so that our power system never runs out of power and is 100% uh, eco-friendly, which is crazy to think about. <laughs> Generating this much power being eco-friendly, not even having to mine anything. So, but anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy it, please do make sure to hit the like button, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle, and I'm out. Peace out. Oh, bye bye